Hey everybody, this is Geo Joe here today with a demo tutorial on how to set up the GVI mobile app without having to do port forwarding. Within the VMS software, we now have a feature where you can scan an on-screen QR code and it bypasses the need to have to do port forwarding. Of course, the port forwarding option is still available if you'd rather go that route, but we now have this for the convenience. So in order to make this happen, there is a little bit of prep that you have to do within the GVI mobile app. And I'd like to now flip over to the GVI mobile app and show how to do that. So once you're within the GVI mobile app, the first thing that you need to do is create what is called a binding account. So if you are in the home screen and you see a gear up in the top right hand corner, that's where we are going to go. If your screen looks like this right here, you will want to hit the live button in the top left hand corner and then it will expose the gear in the top right hand corner. So if we go into the gear, there's a few things in here that you will want to set. The first thing is where it says easy mode at the top. If yours is toggled to green, I would recommend to toggle that off to gray. And then when the prompt comes up asking if you would like to navigate to normal mode, just go ahead and hit OK. Another option you may want to do if you scroll down a little here under the add camera section, it says auto add to live view and there is a toggle switch. I personally like that option because what it does is once you add a host, it will then automatically add your cameras into your grid view. So I'll turn it on for this demonstration and we'll see how that works here in just a few moments. But to add our binding account, you will want to scroll down to the bottom of this screen and you will see a section that says account management. You will then see add a binding account. And if you click on that, it will give you the option there to enter in a email address that you would like to use for your binding account email. So just go ahead and type in the email address that you would like to use. And once you do that, you will hit get verification code. After this screen comes up, you will then want to go to your email and you will receive a verification code. Once you have your verification code, you can just copy it and then come back into the mobile app and you can either paste or type in that verification code and hit verification you'll see a notice that says the account is successfully bound, hit OK. And when you are back here in the home screen now, it is time to add in the QR code or add in your VMS server as a host. Or also you could use the GV SNVRs or the UA-SNVR units. They all support the QR code scan, but you do have to create a binding account before you can do it. So in order to now add in our host, you can hit the three line icon in the top left hand corner of this screen. And then you'll notice a plus sign in the top right hand corner that says add camera. Once we hit that, you'll have a window that comes up and you are going to look for the QR code icon down in the bottom right hand corner. So if you click that, it will then access your camera. And I'm just pointing at my monitor here where I have access to my VMS software. You may get a notice that pops up on the screen that says, do you want GVI to access your camera? Of course, go ahead and hit yes so it will access it. Now, over on the left, I have my QR code. So I'm going to just simply move over and position it and it will scan that. And then you can just create a name for your site. Typically, you list the name of the business. If you changed your web port within the software like we did, you'll go ahead and edit that. And then you will want to go ahead and enter in the ID or the username, as well as the password for that VMS software or for that UA or GV-SNVR product. Once you enter in your username and password, you will hit get information. And then you will see it will add your cameras and give you a green check. Now, if you only have, say, a few cameras, but it's checked several, as you can see here, you can actually go in and uncheck all cameras by hitting the top box, and then you can just individually choose the cameras that you would like to add to your phone. 
Now, if you named any of your cameras in the VMS software, those names are going to transfer through. So if you see my second camera on the list, we did name that one GV-LPC2211. And as you can tell, the name has transferred through. Now, once you have your cameras checked, you will go ahead and hit the Save button in the top right-hand corner. And it has now added your host into the GVI mobile app. If you click the Live button, as you can see, since we selected the Auto Add to Live View, our cameras are automatically there in the grid. But if cameras were not there, I'm going to go ahead and just send one to the trash. You can manually add them by hitting the plus sign and then clicking on the camera that you would like to add. And then it might just take a moment, but you'll see that, that camera connect. This has been a demo tutorial on how to set up the GVI mobile app utilizing the QR code scan option and not having to do port forwarding. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw. Thanks a lot for watching.